Oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Today is a good day because, because I'm adopting an elephant. Bless you. <laughs> Ready to go? All right, thank you very much. All Good. aboard. <laughs> I will say, for as bad as the traffic is, people don't honk on their horns, which is kind of refreshing. I actually am. Yeah. Welcome to beautiful Nairobi. It's time to get out of the city, please. Get me out of here. We just passed by and about 60 people just standing on the road selling onions and oranges. It's sad because it shows how few prospects there are to create income, to feed your family, to feed yourself. And with tourism being gone for almost a year and a half, I'm sure times are even harder. Four hours later, and we've just arrived here at the lodge. What are these? <laughs> Let's start with this. This is Roan. And Roan has opened up the Sheldrick home to us. This is why we're here right now. Lauren and I have known each other since we were like 12 years yeah, old or something like, like that. seven. And now we're all the way meeting up here in Kenya, which is insane. <laughs> Met my boyfriend here, so this is the reason why we get to be here, because of him really and his family. You did good. Today we were meeting the Sheldrick orphans and they're a bunch of elephants that for whatever reason would not have survived on their own. These are elephants that are all in different stages. Some of them are fully dependent on these keepers here, but others like the ones we're meeting now are actually successfully reintroduced into the wild. But you're saying they really have like a personal connection, right? Yeah, so they come back every day to say hi to the people who raised them and they never forget what the keepers and the trust has done for them. This is so amazing. <laughs> Oh my god, they're so, <laughs> so much. It's so rough. It's See like that a is. giant muscle. Oh my mm -hmm. god. I'm so excited right now. Is this what you. Oh, oh. <laughs> I broke a bit of my rib cage once. What happened was I was between a mother and a young baby elephant once in Thailand. And when I got pressed between them, it literally knocked all the air out of me. But for almost three years, if I was doing certain workouts, I would feel pressure in that same place. So. You didn't tell me that? Yeah. It's kind of crazy. Elephant injuries. You shouldn't tell anyone that because no one Work. cares. <laughs> I hope you get squished. <laughs> how many elephants do you have? 15 here. Yeah. And how many have you reintroduced into the wild? I think it's around 250 now. This one looks a lot older. She is. She was born in 2009. She Why has, is she not reintroduced into the wild yet? She has a broken hip. Well, had a broken hip that's healed and mm. made her far less mobile than the others. So she likes to stick around. She spends a lot of time. She's actually got a boyfriend, a wild boyfriend. And oh. <laughs> Some of these elephants are in rough shape because of traps that they've encountered. Some of them were actually shot by poachers, but luckily survived. So that's why while they're in these fragile states, they're taken care of. And very soon they will be out with all the others. <laughs> Baby elephant. Hi. <laughs> Does Ruby have the touch? <laughs> no, he's like, I'd rather not. Here you go. Come back for life. <laughs> look at that. We're back. And look who our backyard neighbor is. That one will be Wilson. And that'll be Tina. That'll be Tina. What even is this place? Guys, That's so I have to show you this. We're back here where we're staying tonight. And these are safari ants. They have a nasty, nasty bite. If you look at what's going on, there's actually ants running on the inside of what looks like a gauntlet or a tunnel. And there's guard ants, which are basically protecting the runway, the lane. And then there's the transport ants or the hard workers that are bringing food to the queen. And they all serve in this beautiful, bigger picture. That's why I love ants, because they're just so smart and they all work together to create something incredible. Insane. Do we do an ant bite challenge? God. I kind of really want to now, but I kind of don't. So I don't know, should I do it? <laughs> See, I'm genuinely <laughs> contemplating it. <laughs> got all the work here this morning. We got some delicious oatmeal ready to go with some oat milk, some pancakes, bacon. This morning, we are starting it off by visiting the Ellie's and it's a very special time of the day because we're going to feed baby elephants. I'm so excited. Yeah. 
The most interesting thing about it is that they are fed baby formula, human baby formula. Yeah. So I had no idea, but yeah. elephants drink what we drink. Roan's family has generation to generation to generation basically been living off of Kenya's land, learning the local animals, and it was actually his grandmother that was the one that first discovered how to keep a baby orphan elephant alive. A lot of the elephants weren't surviving because they needed their mother but this is the formula that about a generation ago was discovered. Here they come. There's about 20 elephants making their way to come get their morning milk. This is literally the best thing in the world. <laughs> I keep saying this, but it's literally like Koden Kai. It's like a big puppy, but a puppy that could easily kill you. Yeah. So this one is one that has a broken hip. And you can actually see how stiff she is when she walks. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you first, you first. <laughs> That was a nice little look back. I was like, okay, I'm gonna step back. I see what's going on here. We've been so fortunate to have traveled through Africa, visiting three different countries now, seeing incredible things. But always there's a divider between us and the animals. And so to be here, to be able to be right next to them, to touch them, and to have such a private experience, it's such a blessing I'm very, very grateful for. I've had this experience in Chiang Mai, Thailand with the elephants when I got to know them and I did my project Black Tusk. It's all about why we have to stop riding elephants and what I hope to be the future of elephant tourism. But to now be able to see their cousins, the African elephant, up close and personal, it's just such an incredible opportunity. Wow, this is such an insane experience. It makes me happy though to know that one day they'll be able to roam free and they'll be able to do it safely. It's such a great place. So currently, after they're done feeding and drinking water from the watering hole, they are apparently on their way to a waterfall. Look, they're playing. So apparently these two are best friends. And you can clearly see it. <laughs> so believe it or not, their favorite tree to eat in the dry season is this. This terrible thorny tree. I'm bleeding already. But this is the thorns they eat in the hundreds and thousands. They don't care. It just digests like it's ice cream for them. And wow, look at this little oasis they just found. <laughs> yeah, Faraja, does that feel good? Oh, he wanted a scratching post. Makes sense. Yes, hello. Hello to you as well. It's kind of giving us a bit of a warning of a butt twist. Oh. Yep, careful there, mate. Okay, we're gonna just... Uh... <laughs> Some of them just need their space. It like turned its butt to me and went whoosh with its tail. I come in peace. Your city? Your city? No, your city. Babe. It's like children, just, you know, gotta come on. Your city? No. So right now, they've rolled in the mud, they've coated themselves in a bit of moisture so that when they come here to the giant sand pile, they can basically coat themselves. It's a protection from bugs, but also from the direct sunlight, which gets pretty hot. Wow. So this is the naughty one. <laughs> <laughs> one of the coolest moments of my life. Standing on a sand pile surrounded by beautiful wild elephants. Mind you, this is literally a thorn bush. <laughs> so there's wild elephants out here, guys. Very important to remember. Unlike these ones, which are used to being around the keepers, these guys have no experience with people. And sometimes elephants can treat you as a threat. And that's also because they've learned that through poachers and all sorts of po negative human interaction in the wild. <laughs> <laughs> oh. A little speck, but... Yeah, but you're fine. I'm fine. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> I think I'm losing the danger zone. And this is actually just one of the Sheldrick properties. So there's some in Nairobi, in Savo, all across Kenya. And so you were saying even in Nairobi, you have like elephants in your back door? Yeah, because his, his house is a part of the Sheldrick orphanage. And so there's a bunch of orphan elephants there as well. They were saying they have literal hyenas in their backyard that will eat their shoes like a dog would if they leave them out. It's insane to see how different life is when this is your back door. It's really beautiful. So we followed them as far as we can follow them for today. They are now on their way out into the wild. That's the thing, they are free elephants. So if they come back, that's up to them. There's so much untouched land out there that they are able to go back to being a free elephant whenever they are ready. It's a really beautiful thing.
July is actually the coldest month in Kenya. So this feels amazing after jumping in the pool. What a spectacular getaway. <laughs> what oh happened? my god, there's little monkey tracks here in the car. <laughs> Last night, somebody left the windows open and a monkey got in the truck. I'm joining the boys in the back. Uh, you look very clean, Robbie. Do I? Wow. Thank you me. almost look as clean as the elephants. <laughs> I am one with the elephants, mm -hmm. and the elephants are one with me. Hey mate, that's a dick right there. <laughs> that's a, quite a dick. Yeah, that's a big one. Hey. The Tuskers, eh? Uh, this time around we got a Tusker, so we're saying bye to the Kilimanjaro. Hey. Damn. Yes, Cheers, man. guys. Cheers. Slancha. Slancha. Collecting yeah, angled, yeah? But a bit smaller like this. Mm. <laughs> and what's this called? Le Peu. Le Peu. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, oh. oh my god! That thing flew past my ear! <laughs> it's time to head to the front gate. Wait. Hey, thank you so much, bro. No problem at Cheers. all. See you soon. Yeah. Christian! <laughs> Till next time. Bye. If you guys want to see more about all the Sheldrick properties, check the link down below. But this has been unbelievable. We've only seen one, but I know that we'll hopefully see more of them one day. And now, time to go. Boss, let's hit the road. Four hours later, we're back. Yeah, it was good, thank you. So about a year ago, I became a father. I adopted two little Bali dogs. They've since destroyed my couch, but I'm ready for more pain. Today, we're adding an elephant to the family. Meet Maktao. Look at him, he's so cute. This was the little rascal that absolutely touched my heart. And just like the many orphaned elephants, he needs a home. So through the Sheltered Trust website, you can actually just go here, press a button. I am now adding him to my basket. Oh God, I've added him twice. <laughs> Time to enter my credit card details. Welcome to the family, MacDow. If this video gets 10,000 likes, you already know, we're gonna adopt another one. And if you don't hit the like button, then you clearly hate orphaned elephants and there's something wrong with you. Hope you guys like this video. Let's get lost again in the next one.